A report out by the World Economic Forum finds that the world is moving toward greater equality between men and women. Women, when looking at such things as economic opportunity, political empowerment, health and education. Among the 134 countries surveyed, Iceland stayed in the top spot of this report. Meantime, the U.S. climbed into the top 20 for the first time in the five-year history of the report. Milan Verveer is President Obama's ambassador at large for global women's issues. She stopped by Bloomberg today. She says the one major change and demographic shift that investors really need to be aware of and that will change the global economy in the future, women. If we have more women engaged in the economic lives of their countries, we're going to have tremendous outcomes uh, for uh, economic growth and possibility. In the United States, for example, uh, today half of our workforce is female. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a tremendous transformation uh, that we have gone through. It's been exacerbated uh, somewhat by the recent economic uh, uh, downturn. Uh, but I think it's a change that's that's here to stay. And that kind of uh, activity on the part of women, either as the sole bread earners for their family or as co-bread uh, earners with uh, their husbands, mm -hmm. uh, that where their income is absolutely essential to the family, those are uh, the kind of huge transformative changes we really have to be paying attention to. I was happy to see with the uh, the release of the 2010 World Economic Forum's gender gap report uh, that the United States has broken through the top 20 countries in terms of closing that gap between men and women. And I think certainly one of the reasons is the level of economic participation, mm -hmm. which makes our country that much more competitive, um, makes us that much more prosperous. But in order to sustain that, we have to address uh, the kinds of uh, challenges that men and women, uh, families, uh, confront in supporting that kind of economic participation. You talk about the World Economic Forum survey. So the United States breaks the top 20 for the first time in five years at this survey's been, been happening. I think one would think that just doesn't make sense. Why has it taken the U.S. so long to kind of um, close that gender gap between men and women? The United States does exceptionally well in some categories. Education, for example, we're off the charts. Uh, but even with that being the case, we don't always tap that talent and potential and uh, demonstrate what a difference it can make in terms of our economic sector. One of the areas in which we're not doing uh, as well as we might is women in leadership, uh, particularly in the political sector, um, in elective office, in Congress, uh, in ways that provide uh, greater opportunities for political participation. But do you find it staggering? I mean, I find it from a media perspective that we make a big deal out of a corporate story when there's a woman named as a CEO. And even when there's a woman named to a big position in government, it's, it's front page news. When do we get to that point in the United States when it's not front page news, it's the norm? Well, and you're so right about that. It is staggering in many ways, particularly... I mean, we're uh, a developed country, and you are, see developing countries who've made more progress on, on this front. We are significantly a developed country in every <laughs> respect, uh, but we have not had the kind of breakthroughs uh, for women, certainly on corporate boards, for example, in the highest mm -hmm. uh, managerial positions. Women are more the exception, uh, regrettably. Uh, we've not seen it in politics in the ways that we might. Uh, there is still a, um, is it a glass ceiling? It is a concrete ceiling. Uh, is it a thick layer of men? Uh, whatever it is, uh, I think if we understood that when we bring those talents and experiences of half of our population to bear, uh, we are going to be that much better for it. It's not just about women's achievement. Right. When women win, everybody wins. All right, that's Milan Verver. She's the ambassador at large for global women's issues. She works in the State Department with Hillary Clinton.